Hey again, OSG here with the Commodore 64 Hidden Gems, beginning with B. As with the first video I have picked 10 games that were lesser known but still delivered big time. There's a good mix of genres in this one so it should satisfy most people's first for new games to play over the holiday period. So without more delay let's take a look at C64 Hidden Gems, beginning with B. In 10th place is Black Lamp. This is a platform game where you have to collect lamps and bring them back to your starting point, but one at a time. To be honest, this game is mainly here for the graphics and music, because although it's not horrible, it's lacking as far as gameplay goes. Still worth checking out though, just for the music. Ninth position is taken by Bomb Chase. This is a cool little puzzle game with an awesome soundtrack. The music alone keeps you playing, but the puzzles concept is also good and the difficulty level is just right, as in hard enough not to sicken you off. Does get a bit repetitive though after a while. Booty is in 8th place. This is a great budget game from Firebird. It's a platform action game where you need to clear loads of screens in order to complete. Although the gameplay is really good, the graphics and music were a little dated for 1989, but it's one that is still a joy to play today and will take quite a bit of time to do too. In 7th place we have BMX Kids. This is as close as we got to Excite Bike on the C64. Whilst it's not as good as the NES Classic, it's still a fun game to play and is made even better with the Rob Hubbard soundtrack, which is awesome as usual. Sixth position is taken by Blue Angel 69. This is a weird game as it takes the idea from Maxit, which was an early C64 and pet game, and mixes it with a sexy Android reveal. In the game there is an 8x8 board. Each space in the board contains a point value. The object of the game is to earn as many points as possible by moving the marker to a non-empty space to collect however many points are in that space. Sounds complicated. Well, yeah, it is a bit at first, but once you figure it out it's really good and the music is class. Bushido is in 5th place. This one totally passed me by and I only recently found it. It's a really good looking game which is an isometric side view. The aim of the game is to infiltrate your enemy's fortress with multiple ways to fight or bribe enemies on the way. And because this game offered a save option it is one that isn't too infuriating on real hardware.
In fourth place I picked Blasteroids. As you probably gathered from the name it's a variant of the classic Asteroids arcade game but this is much more polished looking, in fact it's more like an 8-bit stardust. Anyway it does exactly what you would expect and mixed with a good soundtrack it's a great game to pass some time. Third position is taken by Blockout. This is a 3D Tetris game, and if you like the genre then you will love the new spin on it. But although gameplay wise it's unique and solid, the lack of music lets it down for me. But it is a game that you could play while listening to music. Blood Witch takes second place, and this is one of the best overlooked RPG games on the system. It is, as you would expect, a slow burning long game that is in a first person maze aspect. You get to select your team and off you go on your adventure. If you like RPG games then this one is a must play. And now, in first place, we have Bomb Mania. We never got an official Bomberman on the C64, but we did have a host of clones, of which this is the best. The gameplay is much like Bomberman, and it's just a game that is so much fun to play, and it truly deserves a top spot. Ok that's it for B, I hope you have found some new games to play in this list, as for me these were all overlooked gems and deserve getting some love from the community. Please let me know in the comments below if you know of any gems beginning with B, and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Till next time this is OSG signing out.